Hi everyone, welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is our preparatory ground instruction on exercise 14 on spiral dives. Uh, we're going to discuss the entry and recovery from a spiral dive, as well as uh, some of the differences between a spin and a spiral. This is an important lesson uh, for you to know. You might find yourself in a spiral dive. Actually, a lot of students find themselves in inadvertent spiral dives and you do need to know how to recover from a spiral dive. So first off, let's discuss the indications. A spiral dive is a steep descending turn. It has high airspeed, high rate of descent, and the important thing is it's not the same as a spin. So let's take a look at some of the differences. In a spin, the angle of attack is high because the aircraft stalled, whereas in a spiral dive, the airspeed is high, so the angle of attack is low. But both of them have a steep or a high rate of descent. The way that I think about it is a spiral dive is kind of like one of those charity coin funnels. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's like for muscular dystrophy or something like that. You put a coin in and it kind of rolls uh, around the outside of a perimeter and then kind of goes into a hole. It's kind of fun watching this coin roll around. So it's a steep descending turn with increasing uh, rate of bank increasing rate of turn, whereas a spin is really more like a corkscrew. For your training, the spiral dive is always or should always be initiated by the flight instructor. You don't actually have to uh, enter it. Uh, most students end up entering it inadvertently from a steep turn where they don't uh, put enough back pressure in and they let the nose drop. And then when it's too late, they put the back pressure in, but they're already in a spiral dive. Uh, however, you do need to recognize a spiral dive. Uh, we discussed already how to recognize it. And the recovery is power idle, full opposite aileron. So remember, a spin is the rudder. Spiral dive is the aileron. And then you're going to ease out of the dive. And the important thing to remember uh, to be successful in a spiral dive, these are all done in rapid succession, but they are all distinct, three distinct stages. The power comes to idle, then the aileron, uh, the aircraft's rolled level with the ailerons rapidly, and then you're going to ease out of the dive, not all together. So let's watch this video. Uh, pay close attention to the difference between how this uh, spiral dive looks like and how a spin looks. This is a spiral dive. Notice the angle of bank increasing, and suddenly, as the nose drops below the horizon, the airspeed rapidly increases and the rate of descent increases. To recover, pull the power to idle, level the wings using the ailerons, and ease out of the dive. You can return to cruise. This is a spiral dive as viewed from behind the aircraft. Notice the angle of bank increasing and the aircraft entering a steep descending turn. By contrast, this is another example of a spin. The aircraft stalls and then rolls over into an almost inverted position and spins towards the ground in a very steep nose down attitude. The rate of descent is high, but the air speed your, uh, is low test, because the, the wing is still is going to take control of the aircraft and he's going to initiate the maneuver from a steep turn or an inc incorrect spin entry. So what the examiner may do, he might slow the airplane down and apply rudder at let's say like 65 knots and just apply full rudder. And because the airplane's not stalled, eventually it will just kind of roll over and go into nose down attitude and then he'll pull back so just if the examiner if that kind of entry is is kind of a bit difficult to recognize because you think it might be a spin but remember it's going to be high airspeed so just be aware that your examiner might do that and so you're going to be expected to promptly recover using the control inputs and return to straight and level flight you also cannot exceed any operating limitation on uh, the airplane so let's again talk about some cargo. We talked about this already with the spins, but again, with steep turns, it's really important. So the cargo has to be secured for any unusual attitude. So here's an example. This is a great example. This is how cargo should look like in the back. This is like in a Cessna 172. Notice how there's cargo nets. These are all decent cargo nets. Nothing's gonna fly out, hit anybody. This is the way it should be done. 
This of course is not the way it should be done. So this is like a minor crash, uh, it looks like, but nobody had anything secured. There's a whole bunch of crap in the back and it probably hit the pilots. And so this was most likely a very survivable aircraft accident, but because nothing was secured, there's a chance that this could be even be a fatality. If like one of these pieces of whatever it is, a table or I have no idea, hits a pilot in the back of the head, it could very well kill you. Uh, so just really pay attention to uh, securing your cargo. Let's review. A spiral dive is a steep descending turn, the recovery, power idle, full opposite ailerons, and ease out of the dive. That concludes this lesson on spiral dives. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you in our next uh, lesson on slipping.